for joining us from our studios in Israel. I'm Natasha Kirchuk here with ILTV's Morning Briefing. The U.S.'s election day is finally upon us, and as more and more voters are finally displaying their voting preferences on social media, the Israeli Prime Minister is standing steadfast in his impartial stance on the elections. Netanyahu says the relationship between Israel and the U.S. will stay strong no matter who's elected, and is warning Israeli ministers to keep their opinions to themselves. The Prime Minister's comments come just after opposition leader Isaac Herzog took a stand, demanding Netanyahu not to take sides and claiming such interference will damage the Israeli public. Meanwhile, yet another poll has come out in Israel, this time by the Army Radio, revealing that the majority of its respondents believe Trump is a better candidate for Israel, but will be backing Clinton anyway. Violence is raging just across Israel's border with Egypt, where at least 50 Islamic State operatives have reportedly been killed by Egyptian army artillery attacks. The incident has not yet been confirmed by official Egyptian sources, but Sky News Arabia is reporting that it took place in the northern Sinai. The Egyptian military has carried out several operations against the group known as the Sinai province, which has pledged allegiance to the Islamic State since 2014. The group gets most of its support from Bedouins in the Sinai who claim they're being neglected by the Egyptian government. Last month, the Egyptian military launched airstrikes at jihadist targets in the region after the Islamic State killed 12 soldiers at a checkpoint. Despite the ongoing violence, the Egyptian president claims that the country's war against the Islamic State is improving, since the government is enhancing its operations. Israeli officials are telling France that Israel will not participate in a French-led international conference aimed at restarting Israeli-Palestinian peace talks. Pierre Vimon, the French government's special envoy to the Middle East peace process, met yesterday with Israel's acting national security advisor Yaakov Negel and Netanyahu confidant Isaac Molcho. The envoys told Vimont that Israel will not attend any conference that is convened without its consent, and which touts an approach to the resolution of the conflict which it opposes. Such a conference, they say, only allows for Palestinian Authority President Mahmoud Abbas to avoid engaging in direct talks without preconditions. On Monday, Palestinian Authority leaders urged France to move forward with its peace initiative despite Israel's rejection of it. Israel is marking its first ever Aliyah Day today by honoring the millions of Jews who have moved to Israel. Aliyah, which means ascension, is a Hebrew term used to refer to Jewish immigration to Israel. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu is using the occasion to praise those who have immigrated to Israel over the years, citing their tremendous contribution to the country. Today, schools will teach about the impact immigrants have made on the country, the Knesset will hold special meetings, and ceremonies will be held at the president's residence, the IDF, and Israeli police. The Knesset passed a law in June to create National Aliyah Day, which will take place every year on the 7th of the Hebrew month of Cheshvan. The date coincides with the reading of the Torah portion this week, Lech Lecha, in which Abraham is told to leave his home to go to the promised land. That's all for now. I'm Natasha Kirchuk, and see you later with our main daily broadcast from Israel at 2 p.m. Eastern Time.